Hey friends, Dr. Motley here. Missed y'all last week. It was super hectic and busy at the office, but we wanted to start fresh and new with unexplained weight gain during isolation or quarantine. Have you had weight gain during this time or know anybody that has? We've had a lot of messages asking about it, and many of you have not really changed your diets, your exercise, your sleep patterns, trying to live a healthier life, but you're gaining weight and you don't know why. Here could be a few explanations. Now, our body goes into protection mode in any times of stress. So in quarantine, when you hear uh, stressful news, anxious news, any um, thoughts of unexpected fears, that can create an overall sense of stress. So the body goes into a storage protection mode. So think about our ancestors. Our ancestors were gatherers, and so during the summer they would eat fruits and sugary things, so the sugars would then be converted into fats, and the fats would be stored on the body. So during winter, when they could not harvest foods, they would use the excess fats as nutrients for their body. So during times of stress, our bodies can do the same thing. So our bodies use cortisol, a stress hormone that's produced by the adrenal glands right here. Now, the cortisol equals energy. It mobilizes sugar from your liver and sometimes the muscles to actually be active in the bloodstream. So all the cells in your body have access to the sugar and so the sugar gives your body instant energy. So when cortisol starts to ramp up because of the stress that you hear from the media and from the news and from seeing people get hurt, your body will have higher, higher amounts of cortisol. And if it keeps doing that, the body will then go into burnout. Now, as it goes into burnout, the, sugar, the cortisol then decreases. Now, your body, when it gets close to being burned out or feeling stressful, will take any available sugar and it may store it as fats. So you have heightened amounts of cortisol, which then could lead to burnout, even though you're not conscious about it. You hear all the fearful news, and then your body goes, hey, I need energy to fight this stress, to go into fight or flight or keep it going. And your body will take available sugars, anything, anything your normal diet has provided, and then create triglycerides or fats, which could be stored on the body. So that excess fats on the body, the body starts using that as nutrients, and it's a protection mode to handle the stress and the fear. I hope that makes sense. So remember, it stores fat around the glands. Your body will then store that excess sugar, turning into, not excess sugar, the available sugars, and store it as fat around the glands, especially the adrenal glands. So people start getting weight around the mid midsection, that's around the adrenal glands. Some people actually get weight around the throat, around the shoulders, that's around the thyroid gland. And some get around the hips, which means your body's stressing the reproductive organs like the ovaries or the testes. So your body will store fat around the glands, the stress hormone glands, because of fear, stress, anxiety. My suggestion to my patients are, in acupuncture I say rub the adrenal points every day, two to three times a day. And it's right by the belly button, you go up one body inch, one inch, and out one inch. Make a T right beside your belly button, or right above it, and rub those points out, and they will be tender because that's your stress points. I also say try to find a good adrenal or thyroid supplement that will help support your adrenal or thyroids through this time of stress. We have some on the website. We could put one's called, I think, Thyroid Synergy by Designs for Health and a, an Adrenal Complex. So we could have that available on the website if you guys uh, are interested in that to help with your adrenal glands. So if you support your adrenals and start stabilizing the cortisol so that the cortisol levels start to get re-energized, it won't keep you in fight or flight if you practice mindfulness. That's the key. You don't want your brain to keep thinking of fearful thoughts or interpret everything as fearful. It may be uncertain out there, but if you practice mindfulness, start to train your brain to say, hey, look for the good in things, be grateful for things, and as you look for good things, you'll settle and balance your cortisol out, take some supplements to support the adrenals, and your weight gain should subside or start to stabilize, and you should start losing some weight. Now, I want you to know this. After the unexpected fears are gone, your body will go out of storage mode. So, just know this, it's a phase, it's like a cycle. You'll start to drop weight probably right after this whole thing gets over with because that fear is not out there. So I want you to stay encouraged, all right? It's for a season, unexplained weight gain, cortisol, available sugar is being used as fats. It's just nature's way of protecting you. I hope you guys have a good day. Hit me up, talk to you soon.